Hello, welcome to week 4, lecture 1, Arabic training method 1. Before we start this lecture, let's recap what are the courses and subtopics that we have covered up till now. In week 1, we covered introduction to fitness variables and acute training variable. In week 2, we covered principles of training and periodization in sports training. So in this week 1 and 2, different types of fitness variables were introduced and the first principle of training that is acute training variable was introduced. We move ahead in week 2 using the concept of acute training variable and introducing other training variables like gas principle and loading paradigm. Connecting to this principle, the new topic of periodization was introduced in week 2. Using the fundamentals of principles of training, week 3 we started with concept of load training and different loading monitoring technologies that is used in your sports training or in your fitness training routines. Now in week 4, let's explore what are the different methods of those exercise and fitness routine which can be broadly classified as aerobic training methods and anaerobic training methods. In week 1, we will be starting with anaerobic training methods. The objective of lecture 1 is to recall and to know what is aerobic training to start with. Then the second objective is to know different modes and types of aerobic training. And third, to introduce the one of the types of aerobic training that is continuous training method. Outcome of lecture one is to recall aerobic training. So it has to be very clear that whatever training you are doing, it falls under aerobic training method or not. Then you would recall what are the different methods where you can improve your aerobic capacity. And lastly, Relating these methods to your self-workout and trying to find out are you implementing this method and if yes, you can you make more progression in your existing aerobic training method by identifying the continuous training method to your self-workout routine. Let's start by exploring the fundamental point what is aerobic fitness? Let's start by understanding what is aerobic fitness. Aerobic fitness is ability of cardiovascular system to engage in a physical activity that demands large muscle group, which includes compound movement patterns, which is repeated lift and can be done in a continuous pattern. Aerobic fitness has multiple names, so it can also be known as Cardio fitness, cardio respiratory fitness, aerobic capacity, or simply endurance. Let's relate this definition with some example and try to figure out are you engaging in an aerobic activity or aerobic fitness or aerobic training? Example one is where you simply play with the kids in your society compound or in a playground around your society or in your bungalow. Here you are using dynamic movement, you are using compound movements, you are doing it repeatedly and you are doing it for a prolonged period of time to some extent. Cycling in example 2 again it follows the same parameters that include in a definition of aerobic fitness. In all the four example these are simply aerobic activity. If you are doing it randomly in a week and it is not repetitive and it is not in a progressive overload. So if you are engaging in an aerobic activity but it is not planned, it is not repetitive, it is not progressive, then you can say that you are engaging in an aerobic activity. For you to say that you are undergoing an aerobic training it has to be at least non-stop doing the aerobic activity for greater than three weeks. It means it is repetitive, but how long it should be for non-stop three weeks. 
and it should be progressively overload. That is week by week or session by session, the aerobic activity that you are engaged in, it should be more challenging. If you are following this pattern, then you can say that you are now undergoing an aerobic training. So that is the difference between you undergoing a training and you simply doing a physical activity. So it's obviously if you want to get a result, you should not be just doing a physical activity. It should be followed by a training which demands you to do it consistently and in a progressive manner. Now let's find out what are the different types of aerobic methods that you can use to improve your aerobic capacity. Aerobic training method is broadly classified as into continuous training and interval training. Continuous training further has two classification, long, slow distance continuous training, high, short distance continuous training. Similarly, interval training is further classified as high intensity interval training and Farklet interval training. High intensity interval training is further classified into short HIIT or long HIIT. We are going to explore each one of this method with an example and connecting it to your weekly aerobic training routine so that you can compare are you following different method of aerobic training or you are simply following the same method of aerobic training and if you want to change the aerobic training method what are the possible options that are available to you. Let's begin with continuous training in lecture 1. Now continuous training as the word says that aerobic activity that you want to follow recollect the examples 1, 2, 3, 4 that that was shown in slide number 1. You consider any of those activity but you do it in a continuous manner for a prolonged period of time. One of the continuous method of training is long slow distance. Here long means long duration and slow means low to moderate intensity. So slow represent intensity and long represent volume. So long slow distance means that you are performing an aerobic activity for a longer duration time with moderate to low intensity of cardio capacity. Let's relate it with an example. Let's say you want to engage in an aerobic activity which includes cycling as a mode. This is your preferred mode as an example. A typical exercise prescription would be you perform outdoor activity which is cycle you are using continuous training and long slow distance method. Let's relate long slow distance with an example. You are engaging into an aerobic activity with cycle as a mode of training. The prescription for the given activity would be like you are performing a cardio, you are trying to improve your cardio respiratory fitness. The mode is outdoor cycling. The method of training is continuous, long, slow distance. Only one exercise you are performing for 15 minutes non-stop at 40 to 50 percent of HRR, which represents moderate intensity of training. So this is the most common method of training that you have experience or anyone most of it followed. So you choose any aerobic activity of your choice. You perform it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You do it non-stop and the intensity is moderate so that you can able to tolerate it. So this type of method is the most common and the easiest way of all the aerobic training method where you need to perform the activity at a relatively low intensity so that you can sustain it for a longer duration of time. Now let's explore what is high short distance. Here the term high represents intensity vigorous to near maximal and the term short represents the volume that is short duration. So in compared to long slow distance high short distance is obviously of a higher intensity and for a shorter duration or distance. 
Now let's relate with an example. Now you're using the same example. The mode of aerobic activity is outdoor cycle. You're performing in a continuous manner, but now this time you're performing it for a short duration, let's say three minutes. But how would be that three minutes? Of a relatively higher intensity. So the speed of your cycling would be much more higher. So obviously the heart rate will be much more higher. Now this method of aerobic training would demand you to perform cycling at a much higher heart rate but for a shorter duration of time or shorter distance of time. So comparing high short distance with long slow distance it is very obvious that you are now training the aerobic activity at much more higher intensity but at a shorter distance and shorter duration. So instead of doing continuous training with low intensity, you are performing it at much higher intensity. So this can be used for if for someone who has experience of aerobic training or someone who has an average or a little more than average aerobic capacity as a baseline. Just by this two method, you can introduce two variations of performing aerobic activity in a continuous manner. Let's relate to another mode of aerobic activity, swimming. In this case, because swimming is much more demanding aerobic activity, the intensity is much more higher. So you perform one exercise for five sets and every set you are sprinting for one minute at an intensity of 75 to 85% of HR. So you do this with a rest interval of one to two minutes so that your heart rate drops back to 75% or a little less than 75% and again you continue sprinting for one minute and this way you do it for five minutes. Now advantage of doing such kind of high short distance continuous training is that you try to cover more distance or more volume in the less interval of time. So anyone who has short time or less time to perform an aerobic activity or undergo training, he can switch from long slow distance to high short distance, if not for every session, but at least alternate session so that you are doing more amount of work in less amount of time. The most common mode of doing continuous training is the gym treadmill. So it's easier for you to relate what do you mean by continuous training doing long distance, long slow distance or high short distance. Now if you use high short distance, how would the treadmill workout look like? You perform three sets, every set you perform for five minutes and you make sure that the run speed is such that your heart rate increases in between 70 to 80% of HRR. After one set, you rest as a recovery by reducing the speed but the heart rate is somewhere in between 60 to 70 percent of HRR. As it reaches to 60 to 70 percent of HRR, again you increase the speed for five minutes non-stop to sustain this intensity and you continue this way for three sets. Now this is much more different and much more difficult in compared to you doing treadmill as one exercise one set for 15 minutes at a lower intensity. So just to add a variation to your workout routine, one, to get more stimulation to your cardiorespiratory system, two, and to cover more distance in less amount of time or perform more workout in less amount of time, you can choose continuous training, high short distance method of aerobic training. So a weekly routine, when you choose continuous training method 
of aerobic training it would look like on monday continuous training you choose long slow distance on treadmill on wednesday you choose continuous training but high short distance where the intensity is much more higher and on friday again you choose low long slow distance method of aerobic training so in this way your workout would not be monotonous and there will be a variety in your weekly workouts routines so in summary aerobic training can be performed in a continuous or interval method a continuous method of aerobic training requires you to perform an aerobic activity non stop there are two sub type of continuous training long slow distance and high short distance each of these variables each of this method can be used by a beginner as well as for an advanced experienced aerobic trainer you choose a continuous long slow distance or high short distance based on your current cardio fitness and your current training status thank you